So, just been into the build center here, and we're just gonna get a piece of sheet metal for here. Should have been perfect. Screws in there, remove the CB, then we've got a nice plate. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything that was quite right. Loads of stuff that was nearly there. The best thing was this stainless steel floor trowel. Pick that up, and then I guess I cut that out, cut the shape that I need out of there, and then just uh, bolt it off the front there for our ram mounts. It should be pretty good. I've measured up this trowel <laughs> to the size I want, which is along this line here, put them up there, uh, 17 centimeters long. It's gonna be quite a nice panel. You can see it's quite stretched at the moment. I'm going to go over it again with some sandpaper to make it look brushed again, so it's nice and neat. But yeah, it's gonna be quite cool. For this um, small angle grinder here, I've got a proper one, but this actually does the trick. It's a little bit neater, so uh, that should be good actually. pieces out now uh, not the best cut so I made a step there but I've got a grinder here gonna sort of gonna try and make it as neat as possible um, but yeah that's the sort of metal I wanted quite thin nice strong and stainless so So here are the stainless bolts I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to choose these ones here. They're very small as you can see, probably not even an inch long, very fine. So I've got this protected in the vise, held up now, probably should have done this before I inked it up, but got the drill bit, I'm going to mark out the areas and then uh, drill it ready for the bolts to go onto the dash. Pretty quick job, but it's going to look quite good hopefully. So here what I'm going to do, I've uh, drilled these two already and uh, I marked them out with pencil and then just gonna use this punch here to mark out where I want to put my drill bit. There we go. These, these drill bits weren't really doing anything earlier so I just sharpened them on the grinding stone and 10 times better now. Gloves. I've got goggles on, but make sure to wear gloves, which I'm not doing. Don't mind a few scratches, but just want it to look quite neat. This has been eaten by mice. Thank you, mice. And then look at that. Looking pretty good. Happy with that. The general idea of what the final bolted look will be like. Uh, quite industrial. I like it. And here we are. There's the dash, as you can see. Old CB. New mount there, that'd be nice. Uh, I've got a bit of silver. This is going to be black soon, hopefully. And um, also these are silver, but yeah, the ram mount's going to be black. So, like I said, you know, if it's too silver, then I might change it. But you know, it looks quite cool actually at the moment. So, I'm going to take the dash off and then take the CB out. It's actually miller putted in with putty. And there you go. Look at that. Uh, the CB is out. It's looking a little bit worse for wear. Just cut the cables and. That's how I had it mounted in, sort of hard putty type stuff. Uh, it leaves that little gap there, which is not very nice. So that's why this is in existence. And we'll go on there, look at that. There you go, all mounted up. Really liking the way it looks. Kept saying that I might not have it silver, but I'm pretty happy with that. And I think it looks quite cool. So I'm happy to keep it the way it looks there. And uh, yeah, they're ready to go on. As you can see on the bottom, it's just these mounts with uh, two holes for the bolts. So just need to drill those holes today, measure them up and drill them in that plate. But uh, yeah, these are looking really good. I've had the phone in here a couple of times and uh, they're really nice and strong. I'm quite impressed with how good they actually are. So here's the base here. I'm just gonna have a look, place it in. I think they're gonna fit quite well there. I'm gonna do it too precise because you know, there's only two sort of places that it can go really. I'm just gonna try and separate them as much as possible. So one there and one there. So I'm just gonna mark that out now and uh, give it a drill. So there you go. It's gonna be bolted up like that. Just gonna take the dash off and uh, put nuts and Loctite on the back and uh, test it out, see what it looks like. So as you can see, just got the dash off and uh, bolted them in there, just finger tight with some washers, stainless bolts and Loctite. Just wanna show you what's going on at the back. 
not very neat at all. <laughs> um, here, just uh, bolted through as you can see. And it's got the washers as well. The outer ones actually go through the plastic, so it's quite strong as well. And that's how the radio is held in with this uh, sort of white putty like that. <laughs> but yeah, just want to show you what's going on there. And uh, just going to get a ratchet on there and do them up. And we'll be done, put the dash back on, give them a test. There you go, just mounted them up. All done up there, nice and neat looking the same. But thankfully you can adjust them from e either way you want. At the moment, just got them sort of on an angle out a bit. But this one, if I'm ever driving on lanes or anything, you just angle it up, undo this one here. Do it one handed as always. Go up like that. Twist the head, or if you want to come out a bit, have it next to here. It's just pretty handy. Yeah, just do whatever you want, really. And these uh, these grippers are meant for phones, and I checked it before. I think there's a few different ones. This one definitely will fit mine. But um, I'm going to have the other one, as I said, for the CB radio, and hopefully it's uh, wide enough to grip onto there. But there's so many mounts you can get for that. You could get an iPad one, anything you want, really. So just going for a drive now. Uh, got them installed, both the RAM mounts. Obviously, you can't see them, but wanted to try out what it was like filming and driving because usually it was very low down and you couldn't see much and very close up but now I think uh, it's pretty good which is good. I'm not sure how loud the engine will be because it's obviously very loud but I try and talk quite loudly. But yeah both on now very solid. I like the way it looks. The old CV just wasn't very good. Well A it may be very good but it's broken so there's no point in keeping it. Uh, I'm gonna get a handheld one and uh, that should be pretty Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it secured the decision a little bit more. I don't want to review them yet because it's very new to me, but um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time.